Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this Thursday evening of Order for Compline. So thank you for tuning in. And I, my hope is that if you think others would benefit from this, that you would share it with them also. Give them an idea as to what Compline is. It's a time where we can end the day, end the day with Thanksgiving, end the day in thoughtful prayer. Uh, give up things that will help us to sleep through the night. Tomorrow will come, no matter what, so I can deal with some of those things in the morning. So, our Copland begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer, you know, just kind of sit back and reflect on the, the prayers, the words, the things that we say. Uh, there'll be a time where we can give our own uh, thanksgivings and prayers to, to mm -hmm. God, whether silently or loud. Um, I always say that, you know, even if you say them silently, God will hear them. So before we begin our compline, let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and our minds and prepare ourselves. Let us begin. As I said, the couple begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Continuing on page 128. O Lord, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 31, found on page 129. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me and make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Behold now and bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Continuing on page 131. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, 
and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Page 132. Be sober and be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Singing together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessings be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Continuing on page 134. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, we'll offer up our own prayers and intercessions, prayers of thanksgiving, prayers for hope, prayers for peace for others, peace for ourselves. Like I said earlier, you can sing them silently or aloud. God will hear them either way. I will start out with the prayer, and then I will give you time that you can say your own prayer. Let us pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, I first give you thanks. I give you thanks for all the blessings of this world, for all the blessings that have been in my life. Lord, I ask for your prayers of peace, and strength. Lord, for those who now suffer from these senseless shootings that are seem to be going on every single day, seem to be rampant everywhere. Lord, help us to find a way to stop this violence, stop this unnecessary killing of lives of innocent people. Lord, I ask you to continue to watch over all those doctors and nurses and staff who have been taking care of these, the COVID patients for oh so long. Those who have been the mothers, the fathers, the grandmothers, the sons, the daughters, when family couldn't be there. They had to play multiple roles. Lord, bring peace to them, bring courage to them, hope to them, and the thankfulness of all of us for the job that they've done. Lord, I ask you to be with our government, with all those folks who are in charge, that they may make wise decisions in what they're doing to help heal this country and heal this nation. Lord, I continue to ask for prayers for the sick, for the dying. That they would know that you were there, that they would pray to you and come out, cry out to you. That you would hear them and give them peace. This time you may offer up your own prayers in your own intercession.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace, as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. That concludes our compliment for this evening. I hope it helped. It is always my hope that even the short period of time that you can rest, reflect, let go of today's cares and worries, give them to God. Help yourself to be able to sleep. Get a good night's sleep. It's important that you do that. There's a lot of things going on in this world right now. Still a lot of frightened people over this COVID. There's a lot of frightened people for all the violence that's going on. There's people who are trying to reconcile all this racism and hatred and all the ills that are in the world. But don't forget, that there are also a lot of blessings in this world. There are a lot of good people. There's a lot of reasons to still rejoice. Rejoice in God. Rejoice in the many blessings that he's given us. Let us together find a way. Find a way to love each other. Find a way to agree to disagree, but do it lovingly. Find ways and reasons and how we can love one another and be our neighbor to our friend. And live up to the baptismal covenant, the baptismal vows that we, we give. Have a blessed evening. Have a blessed week until we see each other again. May God bless you and be with you. Blessings upon you, your family, and all your loved ones. Good night.